Hey everyone, it's Anson here from Weekend Garage. Do you own a RAM and want to unlock hidden features, retrofit, troubleshoot, or even do diagnostics? If so, then Alpha OBD is the right product for you. So at Weekend Garage, we are a specialist for RAM software. We are the only authorized distributor for Alpha OBD in North America. So if you guys were looking for information on Alpha OBD and everything that it could do, this is the right video for you guys. We're gonna go through every single feature that it could do for your RAM 1500. The demo vehicle is a 2020 Ram Rebel. This is going to be the same for 1500s, 2500s, and 3500s throughout the years. You can take it for reference. Some of the features aren't on the classic models, but you can see generally what it could do for the 5th gen Ram. If you're interested in Alpha OBD for your vehicle, our website weekendgarage.com, we have complete kits that have everything you need to get started on your vehicle. Whether it's a charger, Ram, any FCA product, Alpha OBD, is compatible with. Alpha OBD is an advanced diagnostic tool and coding tool which allows you to make changes to the onboard modules for your RAM. It can do what the dealer does without the added markup with more flexibility and you can do it at home. Okay first of all we're going to talk about the hardware required for connectivity. This is a 2020 RAM Rebel which means it's a fifth gen RAM so any RAMs from 2018 and up will require this bypass cable. If your RAM is pre-2018 all you need is our Alpha OBD, OBD connector. So with this being a fifth gen, we're gonna need both of these, the bypass cable and our OBD connector. And then you're also gonna need, for any year, you're gonna need an Android device. It could be an old Android tablet or old Android phone. This program will only work for Windows or Android. So with the fifth gen, as of today, this posting date, we are only able to connect up to 2024. 2025s are being worked on right now by the software engineers. The connectivity will be different and we'll post a video about it once that has been released. If you own a 2500 heavy duty or a 3500 or 45 or 5500, the security gateway module, which is the connector I'm about to show you guys, is actually behind the gauge cluster. If you guys buy a product and want to know how to install that, it's a five to 10 minute job after you get it out the first time. It's fairly straightforward. Just email us after you purchase and we'll send you the guide on how to remove that. But in this video, we'll show you guys on the fifth gen. So if we just come on, come on in. So if we go in the driver's footwell and we look up, right here, and you're gonna see two connectors here. These two connectors go all the way up and plug in right there. Those two ports right there. So there's a quick connect here. All you gotta do is press down and pull out. So once you get it out from there, what we're gonna do is grab our bypass cable. We'll back you guys up. You can grab your bypass cable and just plug it in. There's only one way to put it in. They each have their own size, so there's no way to reverse polarity or plug it in wrong and ruin anything. It is fail proof, so you really can't mess this up as there's only one way to plug it in. So once this is plugged in, we're gonna grab our OBD connector. All right, so once your bypass module is in, we're gonna plug in our Weekend Garage OBD. Once you plug it in, you're gonna get some lights. So make sure for your truck, you have it on ignition on, which is, you see the start button right there, which is hitting it twice without your foot on the brake. Or on the newer models, you hit it once because it's only run and no ignition mode. So once it's on, Everything's on in the interior. We're gonna grab our phone. So once you have it all connected, we're gonna go download Alpha OBD through our website after we've made the purchase. So on our website, weekendgarage.com, it's tax free for all US residents and it's free shipping on orders over 99. Once you scroll down and make the purchase, it's a lifetime license. So there's no resubscription fees or anything. It comes with unlimited programming. Once you make the purchase, you scroll down here. Here are the steps to get it activated. So you just purchase it from this page, you download the APK, email it to us, and we'll send you the activation and it's ready to program. So now let's continue with the video and show you guys every single feature that Alpha OBD can do for your truck. So now that we have the connection tutorial out of the way, let's talk about every single feature it could do. We're gonna start off with the exterior first and front of the vehicle. So you see these right here, these two lights, they're called the halos. They're called your DRLs, which are the daytime running lights. So originally from the factory, your DRLs in the daytime when you're driving, 
in, when you put your gear selector in drive, it'll always be the low beams and the halos. What we've done here with Alpha OBD is turn off those low beams in the daytime and just keep these halos on. Because on this housing, if your headlight burns out, you can't just replace a bulb like the previous Rams. You gotta buy a brand new headlight housing. That's how it is nowadays. So you wanna preserve the headlight lifespan and it also looks better. So we could change that location. You could put it on your high beam as DRLs. You could put it as your fog lights or your turn signals. So the yellow part you see on some trucks. Once you make the programming to it, it's gonna stay as is until you change it. So it's not like other brands like Taser where once you unplug it, all the features are gone. Once you make the changes with Alpha OBD, it'll stay as is until you flash it again. So next up, if you look down here, that's the fog light. When you have your high beams on, typically in the Rams, it'll turn off the fog light. So when you're on your highway, you want maximum light output driving at night. We can enable or disable the fog light dropout with the program. So you can have your high beams, low beams, and your fog lights on all at the same time on the highway, keeping it super bright. Next up, if you look up here, these are the active shutters inside. You probably can't see through, through there, but it closes when you drive your truck in the morning or when it's cold out. So no air goes in and the truck warms up a lot faster. It takes less than half the time it would take without the active shutter system to warm up. So in the winter, the heater gets warmer and the engine gets up to operating temp faster. So it's more fuel efficient. So if you wanted to retrofit it or you needed to coat it on, this can be done. There's also the active air dam, which the rebels don't have because they're off-road. You can program that in if you decide to retrofit it or remove it from your system, since a lot of people have errors with the connector corroding or the device itself. The active aero dam would cause a check engine light if it's broken or it's jammed. So you can program that out and completely remove it with Alpha OBD. So coming on to the side of the vehicle, if you were to do an engine replacement and you wanted to retrofit it with a Hellcat engine or any type of engine, you can change the vehicle to adapt to it to the new engine, that can also be done with Alpha OBD. When it comes to tires, when you put oversized tires on there, these are the TRX tires and uh, beadlock wheels, you need to change the TPMS to the new values or just remove the TPMS monitoring overall if you don't even want to install the TPMS, that could be done. If you want to correct the speedometer, once you put bigger tires on there, so your gauge cluster isn't incorrect when displaying the correct speed, that is also available. If you decide to upgrade the front view camera, you can also do that. So once you install it, you program the BCM to accept the new camera, then you can see it on your radio unit. Also, if you're doing the surround camera, if we go, hey, let's go check it out. If you go over here and you upgrade or retrofit your system with the surround view, you can also program that in at the same time or separately. So that's what the camera here and the bird's eye view on your head unit. If you have the air suspension on your truck and you want to delete it because you're in a cold climate or it's always breaking on you, that can also be programmed so you're not going to get the air suspension malfunction issue. If you have non-powered mirrors and you want to retrofit it to powered mirrors, we can have that done. If you want tow mirrors where there's a little blinker on there, you want to program that. That could also be done with the front door module units. Now looking at the side of the vehicle, Looking at these power steps, if you decide to power, retrofit the Mopar steps and not these aftermarket amp steps, the Mopar steps can be programmed onto the truck so you can control it from the head unit and also it'll deploy when the door is open and closed. That's part of it. If you want the ambient lighting, this is aftermarket from us. We provide this ambient lighting, but if you want to install the factory ambient lighting, which I don't think anyone has because it's a hassle and it's dim compared to how nice ours is, that can also be programmed in. Every, we'll go over the interior programming features after, before we'll finish the exterior. So looking at the truck on the outside, if you want the keyless unlock, we can have that programmed in. That's quite easy. You just gotta get a new door handle, uh, a radio module for the rear, and do some wire connections, but that can be programmed in so you can have keyless entry. Now going to the rear of the vehicle, if you have halogen lights for the rear taillights or the headlights, 
we can program that in. So if you don't program the headlights or taillights, as you know, you're gonna get an error that says headlight out, or you're gonna get hyper flashing on the aftermarket ones. So we can program that out with our software. Very convenient. If you don't have a power tailgate or a backup camera, that can also be done. So after you do that, it's gonna be ready to use. If you wanna add on the original lighting for your bed, the one on the two sides with the button push to light up the inside so it's not dark, that could be done. If you wanna program the trailer brake cameras, the LED license plate, the anything, anything more like the trailer brake controller, that's also on there. We have a video on majority of these tutorials on our channel. This step, this is off topic, but we also sell this step on our website. It's a OEM like style quality for stepping on your truck. It cuts the step up height in half. And when it's deployed, it's beautiful, easy to use and super solid. When you're done, you just kick it and it hides out of the way. And you can also program the cargo camera, which is the one up there on the third brake light. If you decide to retrofit it to LED or you want to do the third cargo camera, like the heavy duties, that can be done. So also for the exterior of the vehicle, when you're having transmission shift problems, like it's super hard shifting out of drive or going up to stoplight, it jerks and it makes a metal noise. Alpha OBD can fix that easily as seen in another video, which even the dealer can't fix. So when it comes to the drivetrain, if you decide to change the differential or the all wheel drive unit, we can program that in and learn the modules. When it comes to the tire size and the speedometer correction on 2500s and 3500s, you have to do an extra step, which is called the ABS initialization. What that does is it initializes the ABS to match the tire size. So if you go hard on the brakes or it's slipping, it knows the correct tire size and the ABS pulse to use for each wheel. Also, when it comes to the tank size, if you decide to upgrade your gas tank size for your truck, you can program the new range warnings, such as if you want it to warn you when it gets to 80 miles left or 30 miles left or don't warn you at all, you can do that with the software. You can change the tank size from any value that you'd like. If you decide to go with a custom tank or a standard tank, you can enter the values there. So the measurement corresponds to the range for your new tank. So if you guys want to add the driver assistant features up there, like the cameras where it does lane assist and all that, this can also do it, but that's very complicated if you guys decide to go down that route, but you never know, right? More features it could do is if you have a key without the auto start stop, you can program that in after you get a key with the auto start stop and you make some configurations. Or even if your key isn't wireless, you can program that in. If you don't have push to start, you can program that in. All right, now that we're done with the exterior of the vehicle, let's talk about the interior. So for the interior, first of all, you can program keys to it, but only selected keys with the FOBIC code, which is a four or six digit pin code. So you can't just buy a random key online and try to program it. It has to be authentic keys with the FOBIC code. Second of all, you can program heated seats and ventilated seats if you decide to retrofit it to your truck. The harness is already there. You can program the heated steering wheel. There's three levels of heated steering wheels that you could do to your truck. I've showed you guys on our previous guide. All the vehicles only come with one level and one material. So if you decide to upgrade like we have here to a carbon fiber wheel or a wood grain wheel, you can even change the material of the wheel to have different heating levels. And there's different material you could choose for your butt so you select the correct amount of heat for your personal choice. And in the middle, if you look closer there, typically there's some trucks with a jump seat on tradesmen and such. So with that, if you want to retrofit it to the center console and delete the seatbelt warnings and such, that can be done. If you decide to swap the gauge cluster to the digital new one, that can also be programmed in. Or if you decide to do the upgrade to the 12 inch display, which looks beautiful over there, that is part of the programming in there. Sunroof, if you decide to cut your ceiling, which I know no one's gonna do, but you never know in this world. This upper center console, pretty much everything that you see in any truck that you want in yours can be done. If you wanna program the graphics, you wanna change your, let's say we're in a Rebel right now. We wanna change it to limited. 
you could do that if you decide to do so. Or if you want to change it to a trades or sport. Or if you don't have a Rebel, you want to make it look like a Rebel, you could change that. Add the off-road graphics on the center radio unit. I'm going to show you guys how to do that later on, on how to program that. So that's pretty much it for Alpha OBD's list as of today's posting. Alpha OBD is constantly evolving. We have a team of software engineers that's constantly making changes to it. So what you guys see today, it'll be different when you guys decide to purchase it or when you, when you guys watch the video. There's constantly new updates that's included with a one-time purchase of your initial setup. So when you guys decide to buy this product, five or 10 years or whenever down the line, you guys decide to make some changes, there will be more features and more upgrades as the truck progresses and gets older in the product line. So remember to check out our website, weekendgarage.com, or if you guys have any questions, you can email us directly at info at weekendgarage.com. Thank you for watching everyone. See you guys in the next one.